So, behind me here I have a lot of different LEDs, LED bars, LED work lights, LED spotlights and all the kinds. And most of this is bought on eBay, because every fall we get dark almost all the time up here. Right now I think it's a couple of days left and then we the sun is going away and it's two months till we see the sun next time. So we need a lot of lightning during the winter time here. And I always wondered, when you buy a LED on eBay and the seller tells you this one is 200 watts, is it really 200 watts? That's what we are finding out today. So with good inspiration from Project Farm, we are testing out LEDs from eBay today. So the way we are doing this test today is we have this big battery here, 12 volts, connected to a charger, always keeping it charged. We have this multimeter connected to the battery, it's telling out how many volts we got. We got this amp meter telling us how many amps is running through the negative wire here. So we can see now we have 0 0.85 at 13.4 volts. That means we have around 11.5 watts running through this system now to this lamp. So this lamp is consuming uh, around 12 watts. And actually that's what eBay says this lamp is. So this one is probably pretty correct. And the next thing we are doing is also, I have my DSLR here. It's uh, focused on the Skido banner on the garage board. And for every lamp, I will take one picture and I have it in manual mode. So nothing is changing during the test. And I um, set it for the light I think is brightest. So like this one on 12 volts shouldn't be the brightest. So this will be pretty dark picture. And the one that I think is the brightest will be a pretty bright picture. So we just uh, do what we, every YouTube channel do. We start with the smallest and work our way up. So the first LED lamp we have here is these small 12 volts LEDs. Uh, these are really great. They are easy to mount. It's just one small mount screws on here. They have a small uh, power consumption. You can mount them on everything. I have mounted them on uh, snow blowers and tractor, excavator, yeah, trailers everything they are really great and they are cheap they cost around uh, six and a half dollars approximately with shipping so really late small leds let's see how they do okay there is it it is connected and we can see it's yeah we have some light on the garage wall um, yeah we already tested the power consumption they are consuming 11.5 watts so that's pretty close to the 12 watts ebay says they are so this one is pretty good I like them a lot I use them for almost everything they are cheap they give yeah pretty good light for the dollar so all right next lamp is this flat one it's supposedly 18 watts according to eBay they cost around six dollars each with shipping uh, I ordered them in a pack of two really nice lights uh, mounted these on trailers, excavators, yeah, easy to mount, decent light, not that great, but uh, let's see how many watts it really is. All right, here we have it connected. As we can see, it's yeah, pretty good. It's it's really plastic everything, so I doesn't I don't like that. But we can see on the wall there are some light, not that much, but the garage is pretty bright up from the beginning of. Uh, we are at 13.37 volts and 0.4 amps. So, um, I will put in the description, or I will put over the video what the watt is. Next up is this ones. Uh, they are 18 watts according to eBay. Um, yeah, great small lights. I use them, uh, have used them as uh, backup lights on my trailers. Worked really great, no problems. They cost around uh, forty dollars each with shipping. Uh, you can buy them in a bundle with two for eighty dollars. No, eight dollars, eighty crowns. So, really great small lights. Let's see how they perform. As we can see, it's more spot beam. It's plugged in now. So, and we are at thirteen point five volts and zero ninety amps. So, that's pretty great. Uh, 
Next up is this one. It's 18 watts. It's uh, around eight dollars from eBay with shipping. I use them as uh, backup lights on my Payero. Really great small lights. Good light for backup lights. So let's see how they perform. There it's plugged in. It's a little bit more of a spot pattern, but yeah, really nice light. Let's see how it performs. 13.5 volts and 0.9 amps. Next up is these ones. They are 27 watts from eBay also. And they cost around $5 with shipping. Uh, this is the same one as I mounted on the Bobcat earlier. And uh, yeah, I think uh, these are more spot pattern than fluid beam. So let's see how they perform. All right, there it is, plugged in. Nice bright light. You can see we have some light on the garage port. We are at 13.3 volts and 0.9 amps. Next up is these small ones here. Uh, I just got them, haven't mounted them on anything yet, but according to eBay, this is 48 watts. So let's see how they perform. All right, there it is, plugged in. Uh, we can see it's yeah, there are some lights on the garage port. We have 13.3 volts and one amp. So <laughs> it's not 48 watts as eBay says. Next one is this from eBay also. It's around uh, $11 each, but these one have the orange flashers in the sides and the LEDs for yeah work light in the middle. So my plan for these are new backup lights for the Payero and uh, according to eBay these are 48 watts. All right, there it is connected. You see it's only lights in the white LEDs now. And we are at 13.56 volts and zero, yeah, zero 05 amps. So this one I bought for the new tractor, the Valmet. I was thinking this could be the lights to the front. Um, yeah, eBay say these are 400 watts. But if I look at the wires, I don't think this is thick enough for supporting 400 watts. So yeah, let's see, this one will be interesting. All right, it's lit up. We got some light over on the garage port. We are at 13.5 volts and 1.1 amps. <laughs> well, we are quite the way from 400 watts, that's for sure. And the light is not nearly 400 watts if you're using halogen or whatever. So, no, it's not that that I'm measuring. And I forgot to mention this one costs around uh, I think it was $12, something like that, each, so. All right, next up is these LED headlights. This is uh, supposed to be 120 watts a set. So I'm guessing with both LEDs, this one should be 60 watts, if that's correct. Let's see what we can measure it to. Okay, I. This one is no use of taking a picture or something. This is more just for the fun of it. See, we have both LEDs running and we are pulling 1.5 amps at one point, no, 1.5, the Both LEDs are running and smoking and we are pulling 1.5 amps at 13.5 volts and you can see it's smoking actually <laughs> I don't know if the camera can pick it up but it's brand new so well I don't think we are at 60 watts right okay so this is more for the fun of it test this is the same lights as I have on uh, the Mossy Ferguson tractor and this one I bought in 2015 and 
I mounted it on the Kubota excavator. So let's see if it still holds up to its 48 watts that eBay said it was. All right, the old lamp from 2015, 48 watts from eBay. It cost around $12, something like that. Pretty bright light, flood pattern, 13.3 volts and 2.92 amps. That's pretty good. Next up, it's these seven inch LEDs lamps. They uh, are 51 watts according to eBay. So let's hook them up and see what they are. Hooked up, bright light. Have some light on the garage port. We are at 13.4 volts and 2.5 amps. Next up is this 21 inch LED bar from eBay. It cost around uh, $35. It's supposedly 200 watts. Let's see. Pretty bright light. Looks good. Every LED is working. We are at 13.2 amps and are pulling 8.75. Next up is this curved LED bar. It's 108 watts. I don't remember what it cost, but I think it was something around $80 or something. I bought it a couple of years ago. So let's hook it up and see what it does. All right, it is bright, it's on, and we are at 13 volts and 9.8 amps. So it's pulling pretty good power. And it's the last one, the biggest one. This one is 41 inches. It's supposedly 240 watts, according to eBay. This one is used, so I don't know. It could have lost some power, I don't know, but let's test it and see what it does. It's on. All the lights are working, but I don't think this is really bright. So let's see, we are 13 volts and 8.8 .8 amps. So it's approximately the same as the last one. But I think this one is not as bright as the last one, so some of the power is going to something else. So this is some of the LEDs I have in stock right now. I had some kind of plan for everything and something is spare and stuff like that. But here in Northern Norway, it's a couple of days now and the sun is gone for two months. And uh, then we have uh, only a little bit of daylight just during the uh, around noon on the normal day. So we need a lot of lights up here in the winter. So. That's why every fall I just go on eBay, go nuts, order all kind of LEDs I think I need. And uh, yeah, something get left over and stuff like that. So, but this was a fun test. So I will go and edit everything so we can see how many watts they really are. <laughs> 